Friends, we have come to the 2017 Australian Christian Book of the Year Award. And so to begin, we'll read, uh, Meredith will read an extract from that book. I'm at a market in Melbourne where I sell my work. A man comes towards my stall. I recoil when I see him. He's a skinhead with a beard that waterfalls down to his waist, a leather jacket decorated with skulls, and his body an ink explosion, tough as nails. On a leash by his side, there is a wild dog, a dingo. The bikey picks up one of my paintings and looks at me. Bunjil is a symbol given to the creator. Did you know that the creator of all things created you and has a purpose and a plan for your life? He's like the eagle, always present, hovering and watching over you. He knows everything about you and loves you so much. The bikey listens closely, then begins to cry. He buys the painting. Thank you, God. Thank you so much, Mary. Wonderful. Well, it's pretty obvious. The winner of the 2017 Australian Christian Book of the Year is our mob, God's Story. Yay, give them a round of applause. That's wonderful. is edited by Louise Sherman and Christabel Mattingly, and the artists Safina Stewart, Cooney McKenney, and Max Colin are among us today as well, as well as Greg Clark, who represents the Bible Society with the publishers. Can I invite you all to come on stage, please? <laughs> Do come up. Take your time. <laughs> it, indeed. I can come down to you. Would that help? <coughs> no, Brad. <coughs> while, our, while our winners make their way on the stage, let me just read to you what the judges had to say about our mob, God's story. 66 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists from the city and the bush tell the story of the wonderful things that God has done for their people. They paint in a dazzling variety of styles and write with uncommon wisdom and generosity. These artists share their vision of Jesus in order to bring us together as brothers and sisters. This inspiring book demonstrates what the recent census records, that Christian faith is more evident and alive in Indigenous communities than in the dominant settler society. It is time for quiet appreciation and deep listening. Beautiful, confident and irresistible. Ladies and gentlemen, our mob, God's story, the winner. Everyone's too humble to speak. Um, on behalf of the Bible Society, can I just say thank you so much to Sparklit for this award. It's a, a truly wonderful way to mark the work of these people on stage here who have spent seven years putting together this publication. It's really been a work of providence. Um, the money was provided through Glenn here and his an estate that he was administering from someone who wanted to see Indigenous arts celebrated. Uh, Louise and Christabel have done an incredible job of curating the artwork over that period of time. And of course our artists who are represented here tonight, um, who are only just a few of the, of the dozens that you'll find in the book, um, who have, I think, brought the Bible alive for Australians in particular. And I've just learnt so much about the scriptures myself from looking at these artworks. So we are just so grateful. And uh, I don't, uh, Louise and Christabel, maybe you want to say something as well. 
Thank you. I also would like to acknowledge that we are on the land of the Wiradjuri people and I respect them, their elders, past and present, and their culture. And thank you, Sparklit. Thank you for the honour you've paid this book. And thank you for the work you're doing. Since I first received awards from you back in 1985, <laughs> I've followed you and supported you and been so grateful for what you do to help publishing in needy countries. And I'd like to thank Louise Sherman, my co-editor, and commend her for her commitment to this book and her wonderful research skills. And I'd also like to thank my late husband, mm -hmm. whose loyal support throughout the whole gestation period of this book was invaluable to Louise and me. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the artists. I, I've been fortunate to work with Aboriginal people since 1975, and I knew many Aboriginal artists and I knew the work of the wonderful Miriam Rose Ongamere, her seminal works, and also of Safina Stewart and Gunyi McInerney, for a long time Gunyi, and also Max Conlon, and, many, and the late Yvonne Edwards, whose story last year was a runner-up for this award, and many other artists too, and I've respected and loved them all. And I want to thank the, all the artists, the ones who aren't here tonight, who've given their work for the, freely for the use in this book. And I hope everyone will respect their copyright. And I also want to thank Max Conlon for the title of the book, yeah. Our Mob God Story. Yeah. And of course, Glenn Goodwin, the most joyful Christian I've ever met, <laughs> without whom yeah. this book would never have happened. Thank you, Glenn. And thank you all for being here tonight. It's been the most amazing experience, hasn't it? And wonderful to meet so many young, young writers and hear the story of Turkey too and what courage and what grace in that story. So thank you, everyone, tonight. I've just, I won't be long, I've just got a few thank yous. I want to thank Spark Lit for honouring Australian writers and publishers with this award. We have many unique voices in this country, and particularly Indigenous voices, that the world needs to hear. To the other nominees, it is a credit to Australia that this is such a strong and distinguished list. And I'm personally very humbled to be included in such a list. Thank you to Christabel. Your passion, determination and wisdom has helped to make such a quality book. To Bible Society for entrusting Christabel and myself to this task in its 200th year. I wish to acknowledge my family. My husband Steve is here with me while my four children are at home in Adelaide. They have put up with a very distracted mother and wife for the past five and a half years. Glenn Goodwin, a man who heard God's voice and obeyed. To the artists themselves, of which there are three tonight, your creativity, generosity and faith have been my inspiration. We wanted to give you a voice. Something I've learnt is that we all have a story to tell and it all fits into God's story. We need to learn to listen to and respect each other's stories. 
And finally, I just want to thank and acknowledge the greatest artist and storyteller of all, Jesus Christ, who takes the canvas of our lives and turns us into a beautiful painting, rich in colour and wonder. This book has been an amazing walk. It started for me 15 years ago when God spoke to me and I sent a fax to the Bible Society in 2003. And I just want to read just a little bit from that fax because it shows what a powerful God we've got, that he would speak into an old sinner's heart and then proceed to fulfil his vision. I envisage the book will be in colour and would have a lot of Aboriginal art and would tell the main stories of the Bible from creation, Old Testament, feature stories and stories of Jesus and his parables. The publication and first um, sorry, I've said a lot of things to the Bible Society in 2003, but I just wanted to add, and so I want this book to be always for local use without limiting a worldwide market. And the market of this book has already spread across the world, telling the wonderful story of Jesus. And so I'm very humbled that for 15 years I hung on to a vision and fought with the Supreme Court of New South Wales for the money and on and on. God's mighty hand. And then he raised up the artists and, and Christabel with all her knowledge, Greg's support, Louise's and it has been an amazing, amazing walk of God. Thank you for your love and support. And we just praise God and thank you. You want me to sing a Queensland song, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Typical Queensland is that we all talk upside down. <laughs> thank, thank you, Sparkling. I think I think I read right, Sparkling, uh, for this wonderful opportunity of being here. And I praise God. Number one, I thank God for the wonderful gifts and, and, and the beauty of God's handiwork that have been trusted to us, and we've just been faithful and given back to God. So number one, it, it was we do thank. We thank my old uncle here. I've got a bigger family now. You know, Aboriginal people. When we connected to someone, we claimed them as our family. So this fella here is, I've got to put up with him for a few more years now. <laughs> and Aunty Isabel, thank you very much for being a, making an apostle, to be part of something, a wonderful and a special occasion, and to be part of your lives and sharing your artwork and stuff with, uh, with, with the wider communities, but presenting Christ through, through our eyes. So thank you very much, and thank you again for this wonderful opportunity of being a part of this. May God bless you all. So very much. Um, we are so thrilled and so moved by what obviously was just an absolute labour of love. So very privileged and delighted to have you win the 2017 Australian Book of the Year Award. Thank you so much. <laughs> Another round of applause.